Fire in Pretoria today. Former Deputy Defence Minister Ronnie Caswells, who testified at the Commission on Friday, will be back uh, this morning. Also in the dock uh, will be former Defence Minister Masiwa Lakota. Now, SABC reporter Janji Chalke joins us from Sammy Marks Park Conference Centre, where the Sariti Commission is sitting. Good morning, Janji. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Evan. Just give us a quick update. What can we expect from today? Will uh, Jay Naidu, will he uh, give evidence? Yes, uh, welcome to the Arms Commission here in Pretoria. Yeah, ben, uh, just to clarify, actually the person that is going to take the stand today is Jayendra Naidu, and I think it's important that viewers out there, they don't confuse him with the uh, former minister, Jay Naidu. Uh, Jay, uh, Jayendra Naidu, who was he uh, in the whole arms deal uh, picture? Uh, Jayendra Naidu was sort of the middleman between the South African government and the various arms suppliers as well as the financing companies. He will be taking the stand this morning to Tell us a bit more as to what type of decisions were taken when those contracts were negotiated. You know there is controversy regarding how the arms deal was uh, put together because <coughs> it was totally unheard of in the history of uh, uh, the military in South Africa uh, because previously arms contracts were negotiated uh, by AMSCO, uh, but uh, with the so-called strategic defense procurement packages, we saw a uh, government taking sort of a lead and they appointed a uh, giant Ranaidu to, to be the chief negotiator. Uh, he was uh, representing the then uh, Deputy President Thabo Mbeki. And if I can just, uh, for the sake of uh, members of the public, just to go through some of the highlights of his statement, he'll be talking a bit more about the delivery of arm armaments which were satisfactory in their military specifications and performance. And he will also talk about the growth of the South African arms industry and maintain South Africa's strategic capability in the key sector. And he will also look at the economic benefits of entering into uh, uh, that arms deal. You'll know that there is controversy with regards to the offset programs. Many people are asking whether this arms deal did create those jobs that were projected in what we now know as the DIPS and NIPS, the uh, def defense participation programs, as well as other uh, job creation projects that were projected. Chanji, just before we go on, uh, big raps were put on the testimony of uh, Ronnie Casrols, who was the Deputy Minister of Defense in this case uh, last week. Uh, are people disappointed with what he's come up with in front of the Commission? People were expecting damning evidence, especially if you look at uh, sort of uh, the line that Ronnie Castle has taken in the past few months, especially with the elections. Uh, but we saw uh, Ronnie Castles uh, towing that official line and ab abrogating responsibility, uh, saying that he was a mere deputy minister. As a deputy minister, he's not a member of cabinet and he was not involved in terms of taking executive decisions. He did also testify that although he was very close to the late former defense minister, Joe Mudise, he was not uh, privy uh, to sort of uh, the matters that he handled in terms of that uh, those arms procurement uh, uh, packages. Uh, you will recall that a few months ago, some of the former AMSCO employees did make some damning allegations regarding uh, kickbacks uh, and bribes that were taken. You will remember uh, the Tony Yengen story, some people mm. uh, uh, got Mercedes-Benz at very reduced costs. Uh, uh, when we, uh, Jayendra Naidu uh, come to the stand today, we expect some of those arms deal critics, people like Terry Crawford Brown and others, to sort of uh, grill him uh, during the cross-examination uh, process. Yeah, uh, and then, uh, Judge, finally, just... Uh are you expecting a, a heavy week with a lot of big guns coming through the turnstiles there at the Sariti Commission? 
Yes, indeed, Eben. I mean, uh, last week we saw Ronnie Castles uh, coming through on Friday um, uh, due to time constraints. They couldn't finish cross-examining him. He'll be returning tomorrow morning. Uh, 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 he's been allocated two to three more hours of cross-examination, and shortly after we'll be seeing the former defense minister, Musi Walikota, uh, taking the stand tomorrow on Tuesday, and thereafter we're likely to see people uh, uh, like the former finance minister, Trevor Manuel, uh, also taking the stand, and finally uh, the former uh, President Thabo Mbeki, uh, who's going through that period of uh, 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 grieving the passing of his mother at the moment. So it's going to be a very interesting week indeed as uh, those big guns come through. And we've also seen some of the top lawyers coming through to represent these former government officials or ministers. We've seen some of uh, uh, the top lawyers like Advocate Marumo Morani, who, who has come through here to represent those former government ministers. Uh, but organizations like Lawyers for Human Rights, people like Terry Crawford Brown, they're already they're really sticking to their guns in terms of uh, getting information and trying to get to the bottom of this matter relating to the arms deal. We know that it has cost, is going to cost the South African taxpayer more than 70 billion rand. So people really want answers. Janji, thank you very much. And Janji Chalke, not breaking chairs in studio today, but at the Arms Deal Commission in Pretoria, where, of course, Jayendra Naidu, just to recap, Jayendra Naidu was the government's chief negotiator in the 1999 arms deal. He will testify at the Sariti Commission of Inquiry in Pretoria today. Naidu, who represented then Deputy President Tabum Becky in, uh, well, <coughs> international office negotiating team, will shed more light on how contracts were negotiated with various arms suppliers and financiers. Former Deputy Minister Ronnie Caswells, who testified at the Commission on Friday, will continue submitting his evidence tomorrow. Former Defence Minister Masiwa Lakota will also testify at the Commission tomorrow. President Jacob Zuma appointed the Commission in 2011 to investigate alleged corruption in the multi-billion rand arms deal here in South Africa.